<laughs> yeah, right now it is pretty quiet across the area. We're seeing patchy clouds. And today, because of the rain, we saw our temperatures climb into the lower to mid 80s, 84 degrees. That was our forecast high out in Kenner. Supposed to be in the lower 90s and even get close to that. And we picked up a little bit of rain there at the Kenner Airport this afternoon. It's 78, feeling like the lower 80s. Superdome looking gorgeous. Again, a few patchy clouds here and there, and winds are fairly light. There's a quick check of the temperatures. Again, upper 70s, lower 80s for the most part, and everything is nice and dry. The radar, again, in that ultra-sensitive mode, so it is picking up some ground clutter, so mainly most areas are dry at the moment. As we head into tomorrow, scattered downpours are possible. I'm calling for a 70% coverage for showers and thunderstorms with temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. 86, that is my forecast high and temperatures again I mean not temperatures winds will be out of the south between 5 to 10 miles per hour now the chances for rain will remain pretty high as we go through the weekend and into our Monday it will be scaled down a touch hit or miss showers back in the forecast as we go through our Tuesday Wednesday Thursday into our Friday so mainly dry as we head into the overnight patchy clouds as you wake up early in the morning again isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible not until we get into the afternoon hours will we begin to see those downpours really start to fire up across the area. This is a high resolution model trying to pinpoint where those down, downpours may pop up. So just make sure you have that rain gear nearby as we go through the four or five o'clock hour. We're going to continue to see those showers and thunderstorms across the area. The good thing is, is that things should move. So the flooding threat will be fairly low. But again, ponding is possible in a few locations. As we head into your Saturday evening, light showers will persist. And then we're looking pretty dry as we head into our Sunday night under partly cloudy skies. Marginal threat tomorrow for the entire forecast area of southern Mississippi in this as well as Sunday. That just means isolated downpours may lead to localized flooding. So just be mindful for that for this weekend. Taking a look at what's going on in the tropics here. Still monitoring this wave out in the Caribbean. Doesn't look like much there. It has a 20% chance for a tropical formation as we go through the next five days. It's not going to do anything this weekend. And here is uh, the development area highlight by the National Hurricane Center as that continues to slowly move to the east through the Caribbean. Now we're also looking at another wave closer to the African coast. It also has a low chance of development in the next two to five days. We'll continue to watch that long term. There's the a development area hatched by the National Hurricane Center and again a little bit robust than the other wave in the Caribbean. Also that tropical wave in the Caribbean it is surrounded by dry air. That's why we are expecting gradual development element as we go through the next couple of days, at least by midweek. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So tomorrow and also Sunday, temperatures climbing into the upper 80s, a 70 to 80 percent coverage for showers and thunderstorms, meaning many locations will get the rain. It's not going to rain all day, but, but again, a few downpours are possible and then hit or miss showers as we go through the rest of the work week. Any